Jasmine Sullivan. The track is Neverland. Playing on your best mix of music, 98.4. Capital FM, this is The Lounge. My name is Chow, and I'm really glad to come to this part of the show. As you know, I love, 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 love having guests in the studio. And today I am joined by Wanja Wahoro. Wanja, can I just call you Wanja? Yeah, Wanja. It's fine. Wanja. Or what do, what do most people call you? Just Wanja. Wanja. Okay, yeah. so I've got Wanja in the studio with me. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank and you for having me. F- and for being on time. Yeah. Like those are like 100 brownie <laughs> points in, in my world. It's like 100 brownie points when you come on time. Then when you're ahead of time, you like get all the gold stars available. I'm painfully on time to everything <laughs> in Nairobi. <laughs> painfully on time. <laughs> Yes, yes. When I got the call in the studio that you have a guest, I was like, really? It's uh, got to wait a little while, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Do you sing in Swahili at all, or do you put Swahili words in your music? Um, so my Swahili is lamentable. Like, it's, <laughs> it's terrible. Um, <laughs> but I do try every now and then. I do have one song on the album that is partially in Swahili. But, you know, I did have to get, like, some help from my dad to, yeah. like, you know, make sure I was actually saying like what pronouncing I was, it. T- yeah, just like saying it right. Um, but yeah, I have one song um, that is in Swahili. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And what do you like to sing about? Um, well, so my album Matriarch is actually a concept album, and it's about women and the being a young woman in 2018. And so I guess I, I like to write about things more than just like writing love songs or like that was a love song but Mm -hmm. more than just writing love songs or just about my life in particular I kind of like to sing about issues and a lot of the album is kind of just different um, perspectives on womanhood so like one of the the first single I'm gonna have oh I'm like announcing this for the first time okay let's let's do this that's fine (laughs) it's called Mumbi and it's about Mumbi yeah Mm -hmm. and it's about the first woman in Kikuyu um, spirituality folklore and it's about like her journey and like how the Kikuyu tribe began with all these women and wow. just sort of that story and then kind of how our religion was taken away from us right. during colonialism and all that stuff. Yeah. So that's kind of what the song is about. It's about like a celebration of like a different kind of ancestry and spirituality that... Which we yeah. should all, I guess, be in touch with because yeah, exactly. it's who we are. Yeah, exactly. Essentially. Yeah, and it's taken me a long time to realize that. So it's sort of <laughs> my, my epiphany of yeah. realizing, yeah. Did you have a lot of epiphanies when you were writing oh, or so from <laughs> uh, from the time you started your music? Yeah, so many. Okay. Um, I think, yeah, I think that the thing that I find with music that I love about it and songwriting is that a lot of time in life, I feel like you feel really powerless to do things and change things and things seem so much bigger than you, like structural things and inequality things seem so huge that you don't feel like you can do very much. And I always feel like whenever you get to write about something it kind of gives you a bit of power, like it gives you power back to like that you've done something, you've said something, you've put your opinion out there for everybody to hear and to that. listen to. I so uh, for me, it's like therapeutic in the sense of getting to actually say what I want to say. And, and you don't keep it in. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and if you would love to know Wanja, just follow her on Twitter right now at Wanja Wahoro, W-A-O-H-O-R-O. Just phonetic, right? Just the way you say Wahoro, it. Yeah, yeah everyone, Wahoro. Everyone says Wahoro, but it's Wahoro Wah- with an O. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Follow her there on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And uh, let's go into your first song. What is, what is your first song? So this first song I recorded in 2015. It's kind of like, yeah, maybe my second single ever, like my second ever song that I put out there, and it's called Counting. <laughs> So how can it hurt me? Whisper secrets could be empty But I don't think that's true In 14 days I learned a lesson 36 important questions That brought me near to you Cause you sing to me, we sing together to sleepless nights, savannah weather, counting you. Earth 
to earth, hearts turn to heaven. I wait until our twenty seventh counting on us to. Stories told in the AM for dreams lighting our way again. It's hazy, but I plan to follow through. Elusive love has found its place. Zero of those phantom games. It's not easy when you see me as you do. Cause you sing to me, we sing together to sleepless nights. So then the weather counting you, Ooh. earth to earth, hearts turn to heaven. I wait until our twenty seventh counting on the. As you sing to me, we sing together in sleepless nights. Our hearts are tethered. I'm counting, I'm counting on you. Earth to earth in sun-kissed weather, counting down to our forever. I'm counting, I'm counting on you. Counting, I'm counting, I'm counting, I'm counting on you. Ooh. Oh, wow, I'm just counting. <laughs> <laughs> corny, 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 but <laughs> that was so beautiful. Thank you, it was exquisite. I felt like my my emotions were being plucked by your guitar <laughs> and Perfect. you were soothing me with your with your voice. I don't that's even great. know if that's a thing, but then that's <laughs> I can only tell you how I felt. It was really really beautiful. Thank you.